you guys ever have the problem where you want something and you're positive that it exists, but after searching the internet for hours, maybe days, you find out that maybe you were wrong? That's hypothetical. I know you guys have run into this, and I know I have, but luckily, a viewer of mine saw me complaining on one of my videos and tweeted me saying, hey, you know what? That product actually exists now, and I bought it. And yeah, it is heavy. So let's bust it out and I will show you ah, what it is I bought. Okay, this box is absolutely massive, but as you can see, it is a silver stone case. So what we're actually gonna do is, I'm gonna put this on the ground for a second and kind of explain ah, what's going on while I put on this super cool GoPro so you guys can get a real POV of this unboxing experience, you kinky bastards. All right, on a scale of nine to 10, how cool do I look right now? I mean, I know it's a 10, but <laughs> let me know. All right, so what's going on here is essentially, a while ago, I put my main PC in my server rack and turns out that an RTX 4090 and a big cooler doesn't necessarily fit in a normal case, much less a regular 4U chassis. So. I figured, hey, I'll buy a 5U chassis. Problem solved. Turns out that didn't exist at the time. Until now. That's where the Silverstone comes in, a 5U chassis. So we are going to move that PC, which technically it's over there, that PC into this chassis today. So let's unbox it. Okay, we've got a box. Nice packing material. This chungus boy. So I know what you're immediately thinking, Brett, that is the most first world problem I have ever heard. And I am well aware of that. I know I am in a super niche list of people that actually wants this. I know there's there's dozens of us. I, I get it. So yeah, this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. I didn't do the YouTuber thing where I unbox it and mess around with it before, then put it back in the box and then be like, oh, this is my first time. And no, I'm literally just seeing this for the first time with you guys. So yeah, I mean, it looks like a case. Server chassis aren't uh, known to be as glamorous as their desktop counterparts, and that's okay. The main thing was that we are getting 5U worth of space, and right now I'm using up, I think, 8U worth of space. So we're saving 3U worth of space. Look at us, look at us go. Oh, you, you wanna know how much this cost? Um. It was, it was over $400, not including the rails. Speaking of rails, uh, they are downstairs, so eventually I'm gonna have to put these on. Don't let me forget that. Comment down below reminding me to put the rails on before I go downstairs. I know that's not really how it works, just, just come on, play, play the game. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight expansion slots. The front says Silverstone. I think this pops off or, eh, oh, it just comes off. Two massive fans. Okay, these four screws to pop the top off. And boom, slides off, easy peasy. And um, yeah, this is the inside. Vibration dampening going on here. Uh, some ramen packet, delicious. Do not eat, don't tell me what to do. Don't actually eat these. Okay, so if you look in here, I believe we have a spot for one power supply, I think this can be converted into another power supply um, bot, holder, mount. Uh, but this is used for three and a half inch drives. Up here you can see we have space for two 2.5 inch drives. We have these massive fans that can be switched out if you wanna do a 360 millimeter uh, AIO or radiator in the front. We're not gonna do that, so we're not really worried about that, but. And then we have our support bracket here with space for PCI uh, support mechanisms, I believe this is. I don't know how these work. Um, I think I can figure them out, maybe. Oh, look, we have space for two other 2.5 inch drives down here, neat. And a um, security uh, switch that tells us if it's open or not. And then a glory hole, woohoo! That's kind of it. We do need the other PC, unfortunately, to swap into this one, so I kinda have to go get that. Be right back. How cool do I look? I'll, I'll scale nine or ten. Um, like a 12. 
12. Oh, shit. Go into the layer. All right, so this is the PC. If you saw the other video, you'll know this is what I'm running now as my main PC. It runs up through there. All right. thing is heavy dear god let's take the eh, side oh wait it's got that stupid screw doesn't it okay come on now we can slide this up i think now i think it's screwed on again right right here yeah okay okay so this is the pc as it sits right now we have an rtx 4090 completely overkill under here we have a uh, 13900K completely overkill. Uh, we have 128 gigs of RAM completely overkill. And then around back, we have a dual 40 gigabit uh, network card. You guessed it, completely overkill. I know. So yeah, I'm gonna take everything out of this case. Uh, that's pretty boring, so I'm not gonna show all that. But the next time you see me, we'll have all the parts laid out right here and they will be ready to go into here. So uh, let's do some magic. Magic. Took it apart, it was pretty easy. The only thing is that it hurt my soul taking apart all that beautiful cable management I had in the old system. Ah, oh, this is so depressing. It was so nice and neat. I have to rip it all out, no. I think the first thing I wanna do is get the motherboard in here and then we will worry about the power supply and stuff. So I guess I should remove this guy, this support thingy. I think that's exactly what it's called. Oh, and the power supply is over there and all the cables are on the floor or as I like to call it, nature's largest shelf. Right, theoretically, this should just kind of just go on in here. Where's the bag of motherboard? Found them. And if you're wondering, yes, Raid Owl is filmed in front of a live studio audience. There's no actual laugh track. It's actual fans laughing at all my funny jokes. I feel like it's, there's like, you know, people do astrology and stuff. I feel like whatever motherboard screw you start with says something about your personality. So I start with this one. Don't know what that says. I'm also going in like a random order. So I think I might be like a serial killer. Um, Power supply, probably the next step. I'm already seeing, like, I don't know where to put this. So I would normally say to plug these in first, but it looks like I'm gonna have pretty easy access to them. Actually, maybe not. This is pretty long. <laughs> and I know a thing or two about things that are pretty long. <laughs> She's nodding. You know what they say about a lot of cables. They say, if you got a lot of cables, then you, you're, you got lots of things to power. Oh no, what is happening? Oh, I wonder, oh, we can take this out. Look at that. Look at that, it slides out, right? Eh. Oh, this, these. So we gotta unscrew these, and then I should be able to slide this. Huh. Much better. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is get all of this front panel stuff and fans connected. These separate, oh man. I was hoping these would be connected to where I could just run one cable, but that does not appear to be the case in this case. <laughs> so we're gonna have three chassis fans because I do wanna install this one at the back. It's probably not necessary because we are gonna have Lots of air coming all the way through, front to back. Oh, can you tell the viewers that I didn't make you wear that Raid Owl shirt? You just happen to be wearing it? Like, guys, I don't, I don't make her wear Raid Owl merch, I swear. Now to run all the power cables, which shouldn't be that many, honestly. Most of it goes to the graphics card. All right, so the big chungus, the 24 pin. Bada bing, bada boom, like I said, Cable management in here is gonna suck. Oh no, gotta scrape my fingers up plugging this in. Okay, there's one. Oh my God, that was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Now all that's left is the power, or the graphics card, right? 
So that probably means we have to install the graphics card. I'm actually gonna do the network card first. Okay. Oh man, this thing sucks to freaking put in. We're in. Honestly, everything has been way easier in this case than a normal one. So kudos. I don't know if I'm just getting better at building PCs after all these years. Okay. And this kind of just sits down here. We probably need some like zip ties or something because this looks awful. I don't want to do it too tight. All right, go another one. We're in, bang. All the cables are out of the way for airflow. It's not moving much. It's literally sitting in the, in the chest or in the server rack. So I think I'll just leave it at that. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Two zip ties and a Velcro boy. Okay, it theoretically should work. All right, we're gonna put this back on. I don't actually know what this is supposed to do. Now again, we should probably plug this in and make sure it's working. All right, top panel is going on. Oh, I think my, so I think my GoPro just died. I guess I can still talk to you guys right here. So let me take this off because it's freaking hurting my head. I'm sure I got a mark on my head. We're gonna do the rails. Now I can do half of it up here. Obviously the other half has to be done down in the server room. So let's finish it up. So yeah, these rails, another hundred something dollars added to the already 400 something dollar case. So this is not a cheap upgrade and I hesitate to even call it an upgrade. Okay. Now I know we are gonna need instructions for this. A blue tab, a oh, white, here we go. White tab folded and attach this to the chassis, which is toolless, right? So you just kind of, that's locked in. Do the same thing over here. All right, well, let's go downstairs and uh, finish this up. Okay, so these things are actually impressively easy to install. So you can just line them up, push it, locks in, you go around the back, push it, locked. So let's slide it in. All right, line it up here. Blue tabs, push. Always use the blue tabs. Okay, it's in. Oh my God, I put it in the wrong freaking spot. It was supposed to go right here. Oh, well, shit. Pop that on. I don't think it's going anywhere. Let's um, plug everything in. Um, okay, this is something. Okay, let's just turn on XMP and uh, oh, everything works. Let's go. Yeah, let's talk about uh, my thoughts. All right, so what do I think about everything as a whole? Um, I liked it. It met expectations and that's all I could really ask for. Like I said, this is extremely niche. I was in this market because I wanted to save some server space. I wanted a 5U chassis, which before apparently didn't exist. Was it expensive and overpriced? Probably all in, I'm like 500 something, maybe $600 for this, which is completely unnecessary. Let me be the first one to tell you that, but I like it. I think it looks good. Uh, better airflow than what I had before. And uh, it saved me three U of chassis space or server rack space. Yeah, that's it. Let me know down in the comments if this is something that you've been looking for or if you're interested in it, I will leave a link to, I'll leave a link to the chassis and the rails that I use down in the description if you wanna check them out. But that is all I have for you guys today. Leave a like if you liked this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more server home lab stuff. I wanna give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my 5U server chassis with excellent airflow. I appreciate you guys, but yep, that is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.